customers who would come here to Abaria Bento House, especially regulars, started to become friends with Ina Kwan and her husband, Sun Kwan. Now, it was nearly three months ago when that deadly shooting happened, when a man fired every single gun, in, every single round from his gun into the vehicle that the Kwans were in, in what Seattle police have described as a random attack. Now, after that shooting happened, it sparked a rally amongst community members, hoping for better public safety in the Belltown neighborhood. Immediately after people found out that Ina Kwan had been shot and killed, they started to show their support. And because Ina was eight months pregnant when she was killed, people told us it made the loss even more devastating. Grieving the future loss of the baby that would have become part of our community and maybe made contributions that we can't even imagine because we didn't get the chance to see her fulfill her destiny. Ina was described as a, a loving person, also hardworking. And now Abaria Bento House has been closed since the shooting happened on June 13th, but it is expected to open this morning at 1130. Now, as for the man suspected of shooting and killing Ina Kwan and her unborn baby, Maurice Cordell Gooseby, he's expected back in court on September 25th for a competence hearing. Live in Seattle, Farah Jadrin, King 5 News.